This video shows a simple guillotine tool to isolate the material for a tenon. This is one up from a handheld fuller and improvised bottom tool. Note that the dies are round and not sharp, but we'll get into that in the forging of a tenon video. Also notice that the sleeves of the guillotine are far enough apart if ever you wanted to pull a tenon of a piece of rectangular bar. Here's a simple guillotine. I've taken inch and a quarter square tubing, 120 thou wall, and I've removed the little weld down the seam so that my inch has about 5 thou clearance. So this is inch square mild steel and that will slide up and down in the tubing. On the bottom of my tool I've taken a normal round washer and I've just knocked some of the corners off so that this will fit and I can catch those corners with a bit of weld and the round bit allows me to knock out that die if it ever gets stuck in there. For the hardy pin I'm choosing to use angle iron. Um, this is one inch, my hardy hole happens to be one inch so I'm lucky but uh, the reason I choose angle iron is because this is easy to file or grind and a lot quicker to get the precision fit into your hardy hole. You can see with the square tubing with these round corners that I have to remove the corners off my inch square and then like I said I've got to remove that little bit of the weld seam there enabling this to move up and down freely. I have two sets of block for my little guillotine. One is the butcher block and the other one is dead flat for drawing out the tenon. So the gap between these two must allow for your rotation of stock, in this case I'm using half inch, allowing it to come down for the tenon. So don't get these too close together that they don't work. And then lastly for me there is a taper to the end of the struck end of my tool and my taper is quite long. This is mild steel and this will upset quite readily as I've used it a little while and I don't want this upset being pinned down the bottom. The other is I want to be able to grab hold of this and lift this up as I'm going to work quite quickly without having to fuss around with something quite small. In reality I make two of these guillotines, one with the angle dies or the butcher dies and one with flat dies. That way I can swap the whole thing out when I'm going from cutting the tenon to actually drawing it out. 